So there has been some drama. Guys, are you ready? There has been some drama with the OTK tournament. That's right. There was a post, and I saw this uh, yesterday. Uh, it was actually really funny because... So Tyson tweets out, and he's talking about Guzu. I'll, um, I'll watch the clip, and uh, you guys can go ahead and just listen to it so we can get the full context. And uh, then we'll go from there. And so here we go. To summarize, I guess the whole th reason why I'm not doing the tournament, I believe, is just overall, I think I would burn out super hard on doing it. I would really, really just, it would just not be fun for me. Um, I also think it's very sweaty with the amount mm -hmm. of like gold buying that's been happening with it. People getting, it's just about who can get the most help and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And I think I would just rather do chill, cool stuff with my warrior. Focus on that, doing community things, doing just chatting stuff, doing some cooking streams, doing variety. And also, I'm planning to perhaps do a trip to BlizzCon. So I do want to maybe prep for that too, all right? To summarize, I guess... The so there it is. And uh, Guzu does it really... He's, he's dropping out. I mean, honestly, I would if I was him too. We have a lot of people that are competing in this tournament. Bro. He's not going to beat these guys. I'm not going to beat these guys. You're not going to beat these guys. These are the best players in the world. It's just not going to happen. Like, that's just a fucking fact. And, uh, yeah, it's sweaty. It's not even just sweaty. These are people that have been rank one gladiator for a fucking decade. Okay? Like, yeah, you're not going to... Yeah, I'm already 60 and 1. Yeah, Zico. Yeah, bro, like, you're not going to beat Zico. Not, nobody, nobody in his thread's going to beat Zico. It's just not going to happen. And so, anyway, um, Guzu is accusing people. Let's listen to this here. Um... I also think it's very sweaty with the amount of like gold buying that's been happening with it. So he goes and he says that there has been people buying gold. Can you believe this? People have been buying gold in, the, in, in, in Glasgow. I know, I know, it's crazy. And so anyway, uh, Tyson goes, or sorry, Zach. Zach goes and he asks, he says, who's gold buying? Guess who fucking retweets this? Retweets McElreevy. Stay safe. There he is again. And uh, we've got, obviously, Peo right here who's messaging. He says, I need to buy gold. He needs to buy the gold. This, this rivalry will never end. Yeah, he needs to buy it. I need to grind money on post start to buy gold for a tournament. True. Selling gold in Skull Rock. How much? Now, the funny thing about this is that I actually, I'm not sure if, uh, if Peo was just memeing around, you know? Like, that's really it. Probably just joking around. But how much do you want? Of course people are going to be buying gold. So, Tyson retweets this, and he makes a post about this. And he says this. Now that they're out there, these are screenshots I received over the weekend that seem to show Peo Wow's intention of purchasing gold for real money. Let me be clear. Gold buying or the intention of buying gold does not stop at Peo. This is a widespread issue across this tournament, as players and streamers feel they're in an arms race for part of the 100k prize pool. For what it's worth, I reached out to Peyo in hopes of getting his side or some clarification on these screenshots, but he said he was too busy with his stream and tournament preparations. Money never sleeps. That's a fact. So, yep, too busy. And so, anyway, uh, a lot of people are saying... Like, here we go. Retail-y, retail retail e players with their small brains could never comprehend all of the levels of complexity to this tournament. Who cares that he is clearly and obviously buying gold when gold is only 0.1% of the difficulty of WoW Classic, especially Hardcore Classic. Get a grip. True. This is his public discord. It's hilarious how baited people get. So people think that this was just simply baiting, and Peo is a master baiter. 
Now, we're not sure if that's the case or not, but there has been a number of, uh, of people bringing this up. They've been messaging me about this, and they've been kind of upset. They've been saying they've been, they've been buying gold. I think if you think somebody is buying gold, not you think meaning that, oh, I saw him with gold, that means he bought gold. But I mean, if you have reason to believe somebody's buying gold, report them. It's just about that simple. Yeah. Call Payo on Discord right now. I mean, I think Payo is probably doing something else. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'll, uh, I, I don't know if that's gonna, if that, that would go well or not for him, right? I think that people would probably just think that he was wrong. Call him, please. Yeah, I don't, he's, he's, guys, he's probably busy preparing. He doesn't have time for things like this. Wasn't this event three days ago? No, the announcement was three days ago. And the event's gonna happen, I think, somewhere at the end of the month, man. Uh, what's this up, viewers, from just funneling gold to streamers? It's kind of the same. Because one of them is against the TOS and the other one isn't. Like, giving people gold or helping somebody with no sort of, uh, you know, thing in return is very different than having, like, uh, money attached to it. Yeah, like, I mean, money is, like, uh, spending money on shit is, like, a completely different universe, in my opinion. Because, like, everybody, anybody can help their friend, anybody can do stuff like that. But, like, it's one thing to just, like, help your friend or send some gold to a streamer. And it's another thing to have an, an entire economy around buying it, right? I mean, it's, like, totally different. So, yeah, money makes it a transaction. Exactly. So, yeah, I think Solo Cell found or clearly stating everything is fine would be better. They've been ambiguous about what's been allowed. Uh, we pretty much let people do whatever the fuck, right? I mean, that's my understanding. So, obviously, uh, the OTK tournament has brought in a lot of very degenerate behavior. Uh, like, for example, Zico. <coughs> we're going to go ahead and look at this here. Uh, Zico has been streaming it, no surprise. And uh, we're going to take a look at it right here. Yeah, because the thing is, you can't enforce SSF. Like, if we could make a rule that, like, or Blizzard could, like, go in and make it to where players can't trade or do anything like that. Like, they can't do auctions. They cannot... Their, their inventory cannot interact with another player's inventory in any capacity, then yeah, maybe that would be interesting to try. But there's always going to be ways around it. Like, for example, like you can have other people kill a boss for you, and then they pass on the loot, and then you just get it. Right? There's always going to be a way around something. So... Dude, he's lagging, he's lagging, he's lagging, he's lagging, he's lagging, he's lagging, he's lagging. Ah, uh, we're so dead, dude. We're so dead. He's going to pull more. I'm going to have to leave him. Run, dude. Run, 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 run. Ooh. I'm actually going to die, dude. I swear. Ooh. Zico's out of mana. Is he back yet? Oh, this is not looking He's good. Back. Dude, I need an innovate or something, dude. I have to run. He's going to die in there, dude. Bro, that's sad. That's sad. He's lagging out like that. Down there, man? Fuck. I'm pulling them back. I'm pulling them back. I'm trying to buy him time for the lag. Dude, he's lagging. He's lagging. That he's sucks. Lagging. And apparently the guy, did he die? He Apparently he died. The druid booster died while on duty. That's so sad. Yeah, due to disconnection he's lagging, he's lagging, issues. He's lagging, exactly. He's lagging, he's lagging. I'm agreement with Blizzard. Awful, off uh, finalists, a specific tier gear set. It'd be an even playing field. There's never going to be a point where it's an even playing field in the game. And this is like one thing that like a lot of people have... Uh, RMT invalidates the devotion of hardcore players. Yep, you're right about that. Um, but there's n it, you are never going into a tournament like this on even ground. Some people just simply have more time to spend. Like, for example, a person who is a working person will no longer, will never, ever, ever, ever be able to compete with somebody who plays the game 12 hours a day. It's just never going to happen, right? So you have that thing. And then you also have the fact that the game is imbalanced. So it's just like, you're out to level in 30 days. How can you hit 60 in 30 days? Bro, well, people hit 60 in 13 days. Uh, probably in seven days, they'll hit 60. It's not even a big deal, man. It's not gear, it's, the, it's a computer, it's a connection, or they got a job. Yeah, everybody, like, you're going into it very much on unequal ground. That's just how it is. I'm GN streamers being gifted gold, basically the same end product for this specific event. Without SSF round, I don't understand uh, what other people expect them. Well, one's against the rules and one's not. One's voluntary and one's, uh, well, I guess both are actually voluntary. It's not true. Uh, one is a transaction and one's not. 
Uh, I think that once you get into transactions, then it's a very different situation than if you, um, uh, if you're just helping somebody or like, you know, this guy's getting boosted, right? There's nothing to stop somebody from their friend doing this for them. Yeah, it's just a, in my opinion, I think it's a huge difference. So we also have somebody here, um, obviously this event, so you guys might not know, but like I'll, I'll say again, uh, OTK is doing a massive $100,000. That's right, $100,000 tournament for Classic WoW Mont Garat tournament. So obviously, a lot of people have been trying to compete. So let's take a look and see how these have gone. Here we go. Blizzard approved. Yes, Blizzard has, uh, has sanctioned it and everything like that. And uh, yeah, there it is. What about streamers? Uh, large streamers offering a portion of their winnings if they win to anyone who power leveled or geared them? Well, that would be RMT and that would be against the rules. Here we go. We got disconnected. We're dead. Uh -oh. Are we live? I'm dead. Uh oh. Oh no. It doesn't go. I sure hope he doesn't die. <clears throat> that would suck. Now it's dead. Uh oh. Oh, he's good. He's fine, guys. Everything's okay. Is that because we had like three three mobs on us? Uh oh. <clears throat> Never mind. He's dead. Yeah, he's actually dead. Yep, Trill has died as well. Uh, Mitch Jones. Holy shit! Abort! Kill the mobs. We need. Nice Nova, now blizzard that shit! I'll kill this, I'll kill the patrol, you kill blizzard! For $100 per hour, just roll it, stop stalling. Blizzard, man! Cock! What is he doing? Keep JP up! Keep JP up, keep JP up! Slow them! Bro, keep JP what are they up. doing? Just let him die? Well, <laughs> run, bro! Run, bro! <laughs> Jesus! Yo! Yo, invite me! Invite! 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, he doesn't have enough time. Hold up, who's? We lost a priest. That is fucking sad. We man. lost a priest, guys. Holy shit! Abort! Kill that the mobs! That is fucking sad. That sucks. Uh, Mitch, uh, that sounds terrible. What, Mitch Jones, a priest slayer? I don't know, man. I mean, like, the mage had, like, full mana. We need nice Nova. Now blizzard that shit. Where's the blizzard? I'll kill this. I'll kill the patrol. You kill blizzard. There we go. Finally. $100 per hour. Just roll it. Stop stalling. Blizzard, Jones. man. Cock. Keep JP up. Keep JP up. Keep JP up. Slow them. Keep JP up! I'm gonna be honest, like, that mage should have done more damage, man. Like, that was just not good, bro. Not good. Now, they're actually not competing in the tournament, right? But, uh, oh, here's another one. Um, another guy who's competing in the tournament. Here we go. Now doing it is myself. Because, again, you have to look at track record. Okay? You have to look at track record. Davix has been playing hardcore. Wait, is this the guy that does the fucking shorts on YouTube and he acts like he's like a Japanese anime protagonist and he talks like that the whole time? Oh yeah, dude, I've seen, I've seen like 10 of his videos. Oh, this guy's great. I love him. Look at my track record. I have been yeah. in this, dude. I have been in this. I know what to do. I have the reps. I might not have the pressure of a competing, 
but I, I have it all in here. It's all so relative to me. I got the portfolio. Not to say that Savix ain't a great rogue. All I'm saying is oh, the only rogues that I think are really in the cut is Peo, myself, Perplexity, and Bobka. I think there's one other person. But Guzu and Savix, they've been playing a lot of hardcore. Now, they might just degen duel, which they totally can do and catch up. Oh, and PS Hero. PS Hero's been in the cut as well. PS Hero is the dark horse. I could easily see PS Hero just winning the whole thing. I could see him winning the $50,000 and being like, nice. Well, I'm going to go back to my other character now. Like... <laughs> Like, I remember one time I watched PS Hero fucking go and 2v1 a 2700 rated arena. And after like 20 minutes of outplaying these two clowns in Retail Wow, he beats them. And he just goes, Well, that's what you get. And he just gears again. <laughs> it just was nice. Like, next. Do you remember that one clip of PS Hero in New World where it was this fucking, this like plate wearing healer that he was fighting against and he shoots him in the head with a musket and he starts saying, fuck you, Gary. Like, I don't know why I remember this, but that was like, in my opinion, one of the best clips of New World in all time. Cause like the guy was talking shit over and over and over during the fight. Oh, that's him. Yeah, that's, that's the guy think are actually i i think that pf's hero could take it i i hope that he does man i really do show it i dude i don't know if i can find it um show new world pvp can i find it yeah if somebody finds it i will watch it well anyway we'll go back to this and uh yeah i mean obviously i think he's gonna do really well obviously snuts is gonna be in the tournament like this so far so here we go let's take a look at it Do we see what we collected so far? As of so far, I have. Uh, Look at that, bro. He's two stacked. Dreadmiss, Necromancer leggings for leveling. Two life stones. Two underworld bands. Look at that, bro. And then engineering. I got to log on my engineering character. Bro, right now, people actually. are in it to win it. Holy shit! God fucking damn. Yeah, how? Because he knows people, man. He's got the connection. He's got the hookup. That's what it is. That's all there is to I wonder where he got the gold. I mean, to be fair, Snuts is pretty popular. I think that Snuts could probably do it without breaking the rules, right? But in general, I think other people might be buying gold. Yeah, it's definitely a possibility. Uh, that's it. Uh, now, obviously, some people are wanting me to, uh, you know, they'll like, try to message me about this. Listen, buying gold's against the Blizzard TOS, all right? So if you got a problem with it, you can message Blizzard, right? Blizzard are the ones that need to be responsible for that shit. You can't look at me or somebody else trying to figure this shit out. You know, that's about it. And you guys won't do anything about it? Nah, nah, we're not going to do anything about it, man. Like, how, I, 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 okay, so this is like, so for the, for the tournament, obviously, I was involved in conversations about it. And my rules were, let people do whatever the fuck they want. Like, we have like a handful of things that like you can't do, that are, that would just like ruin the tournament. But like, it's literally just a few things. Yeah, that's it. It's not, yeah, it's not our job to do something about it. Because like, we cannot, the thing is, we can't prove and investigate whether somebody bought gold. The only people that can do that is Blizzard. So you can't expect us to do something as like a third party whenever we don't even have access to the information. Like you can't expect us to do that. It's impossible. There's no way. You know, we'll see what happens. It's a Makarai. Everything is alive. Life or death. True. Very true. I look forward to seeing more clips like this. They're going to be fucking great. Yeah, I'm very, very, very excited to see this. It's like showing up to war with a machete and a stick and getting upset the other guys with ballistic missiles. Yeah, that's called World War One, actually.